Hey guys, Kat here. And today we have a full body workout. So I'll be using a pair of 15 pound dumbbells and 10 pound. Remember to go at your own pace and use the weight that's best for you that allows you to do the form correctly and awesomely. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. Now let's get started. Alright guys, let's get warmed up nice and easy. Start with the stroking jacks. So attach the hands to the top, jump the feet out wide and you cannot quite feel it. You can always You can always just jump. 
It takes a lot less energy. But I think this is fun. Okay, so one more cardio move and then we'll move on to a strength. So four running man, burpee. Arms out wide, opposite arm, opposite leg, go old school. One, two, three, four, come down. Burpee, arms up at the top. One, so from the side. One, two, three, four, and down. Always make the strides a little bit less. One, two, three, four. Walk it out. Come up on the tippy toes. Again, it's not for everyone. So you've got to find what works best for you with the body you have now. But also remember to push yourself because it's fun. Down and up. Nice job, guys. Up and jump. Oh, baby. Okay. Single leg, arm curl, single leg deadlift. I'm going to grab a 15 in my left hand, stabilize on my right leg. So from here, I'm going to curl and then lean forward. Woo! Oh, my. Good start, cat. So, Stabilize on that right leg, curl, lean forward. Make sure you don't lead with that left hand. You just want to hinge from the hips, get that nice stretch in that stabilizing leg, and you want to have a slight bend in that right knee as you come down. If this is too much for you, you can always stabilize on both feet, curl, have the foot slightly in back, go with that deadlift, and bring it back. Okay, so we're going to the other side, so if you need to do that, it's okay. One side might be a little bit more challenging. Again, it's okay. You don't have to beat yourself up about it. This is fun. This is challenging. Whew. Curl and stabilize. Whew. I like this. So this is really challenging coordination balance. It's making a nice stretch strengthener for that, or stretch for that hamstring. Oh baby, we're also working that bicep and forearm. Make sure that bicep curl is nice and controlled. It's not like, woo, you're not bringing it up like this. Nice and controlled, rolling shoulder like blade back down. Curl and then come down. Woo! Oh, baby. All right, so the push-ups. These are really fun. I'm not going to have to blow my nose after this. <laughs> All right, so come down to a push-up position. Widen out your feet. Walk your hands back. And then you're going to bring the crown of the head down to the ground. And press. This is amazing for those shoulders. Now, if this is not for you, if you have like a bench, you can elevate your upper body and go like that. That's awesome. You can stick the shoulder press if this isn't for you, especially if you have like sinus issues right now. That's okay. We all have to modify. If you want to make it more challenging, bring your hands into a triangle or a diamond and then do those push-ups. Heels can come off the ground, just a little bit. You really should be feeling this in your shoulders. Make sure you're not allowing your upper your lower body to press yourself back, really focusing on that upper body. Remember, if you couldn't get it down, there's a rewind button. <laughs> yeah, so it's not that bad. Okay, so curtsy, toss facing forward. Curtsy, sink down. From here, hands down to the ground, standing splits, and then switch. Curtsy. This is for the glutes and then standing slits. It's for funsies. <laughs> A little bit of flexibility, mobility. Sink down, hands down to the ground. Stick with curtsies if you can't do the standing splits. Sink down, come down, lift. Really think about squeezing your butt as you lift your leg back. This is awesome for those glutes. Lift. Stay with us. 
take the time again, chest is facing forward. A lot of people go like this, but then you lose a lot of the glute action. So, chest facing forward. Okay, skater, single leg squat. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we're gonna skate to one side, skate to one side, stabilize, sink down. Notice how I'm keeping my knees close together. Skater, stabilize, sink down, come back. Try to have your back nice and flat. So that means if you can't sink down as far while maintaining that nice flat back, you don't have to sink down as far. So this is stabilization, a little bit of cardio. You can always take out the hop and just step instead. Bring the other leg in back if you planted and sink down. So that's your modification. Step, sink down. Woo! That's fun. Okay, nice job, guys. Four bear call forward and four bear call back. Bear call's uncomfortable, I know. <laughs> okay, so try to keep your butt down as much as you can. The opposite arm. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice how we're taking it slow. Three, four. You'll still feel it a lot in your shoulders, a lot in your core. I just want you to concentrate on the form. I want you to keep your butt down. Two, three, four. Ooh, quads. <laughs> I keep getting closer to the timer. One, two, three, four. Keep on breathing. Okay. 
<laughs> four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Almost there. Okay, right there. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of skipping action. Some of, some people struggle with this a little bit with the coordination. So I want you to take your time. Just try it out. Okay, so here we go. Knee up and to the side. Let's skip one. So I'm going to stay on the same side the whole time. So you're really going to start to feel it in that left calf if you're raising your right leg. If this is too much coordination, you can always just bring it up instead of just bring it to the side as well. Ooh, baby. This one's fun. A little bit of cardio, coordination. That left leg is burning because we like to do that because we're weird. We actually sign up for this stuff, guys. That happens to me every time I do a water run. I'm like, I paid for this. They got me again every year. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah, I know. But then you get that headband after, and you're like, yes. <laughs> Woo. Okay, you have the other side. And then, then they send you the email the day of or the day after, and be like, you did it. Here's a discount code for next year. Even though during the race, you're like, this is my last year. I'm never doing this again. And then you're still on that high where you're like, well, that was really fun. That was actually really great. And you do it again. <sighs> Every year. Keep it going, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> almost there. Am I almost there? I mean, I can't see the timer, and it's been a while. Keep going, guys. Doing awesome. Remember, it's all mindset. We're having fun. This is for fun. Keep going. Finish it up. Use those arms. Ow. All right, frog hip mobility squats. I learned this um, from the NASA conference I went to. So feet, try on facing forward. Hands from prayer. Sink down, bring your butt up. Sink down, butt up. You'll notice after a while, quads will be burning, but you'll probably also be able to sink a little bit lower. For me personally, I do have a struggle keeping my back flat, so I'm still working on that. Whew. Oof, after those skips, my calves are feeling it. So if you add this in after like every exercise, you'll notice how much more mobility you do have after a while. Whew, she got that butt. <laughs> Sit down, bring it up. Almost there, guys. For reals. Put that weight in the heels. Okay. Whew, okay, nice. nice job. Next up, side lunge. Two switch lunges. What was I thinking? Side lunge and like in a warm up. So, step to the side. Sit down, come up, two switch lunges. One, two. Now, if that's too much, that's okay. I want you to just walk out. One and two. So go your own pace. Especially if you have knee issues. It's so sad when I see people say they have knee issues and they just keep pushing through when they don't need to. After this, we're gonna go to a back strengthener. So, Push through here, add weight if you want to. Why not? <laughs> Why not? One, two, nice job, guys. Step to the side. It's hard for me, man. but it's okay, because it's fun at the same time. Okay, guys, I'm gonna grab my lighter weight, my tens, have my feet pushed together in a uh, chair. Slide up, uh, bend in the elbows, squeeze your legs together. Eyes are flies. Halfway, we're gonna switch to wide rows, just for fun. Keep your back nice and flat, lean forward. From here, turn palms facing towards you. Wide rows. Squeeze, shoulder blades together. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Keep going. Here come the sniffles again. 
Nice job, guys. Finish it out. Squeeze. Okay. So I'm gonna keep one dumbbell. From here, we're gonna swing it like a kettlebell, but swing it over our shoulder. So make sure you do not release it. Is that not within your house? So get the swing down first. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Remember, it's not a squat. And then throw over your shoulder. So this takes a lot of core control to keep it from leaving you and to keep yourself stabilized. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see how much I bend my knees because you don't want to squat. Keep your core strong. Pop. Nice job, guys. Keep going. 15 seconds. Stay strong. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two. Okay. I'll be able to do this one. So, okay. So I'm gonna grab my tent. I'm gonna elevate my uh, heels on them. Okay, so elevating my heels, going into a squat. So, whoo, does anyone know what this does? It makes sure that you put a lot more emphasis on your quads. So if you feel your quads burning like never before in a regular squat, it is putting all that nice weight on those quads. How fun. <laughs> you can add weight to this if you want to, as long as it's safe for you to hold. <sighs> I have a fun one after this. <laughs> oh, I'm so mean. We're almost done with our workout, guys. We're almost to abs. Oh, baby. Okay, so squat jump. Two pulses. Let's try to keep your back flat. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to squat. Squat jump. One, two. Up. One, two. Up. One, two. Up. One, two. Uh, I'm so mean. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm suffering with you. Keep going, guys. Again, the emphasis put weight midfoot to heel. Two, up. One, two, up. Nice job, guys. Up. Uh, after this, we're moving into an ab and shoulder move. And a nice heart relaxer. <laughs> How does that work? One, two, up. Oh, one, two. Those quads. It's a good feeling. Good feeling. We like the bird. Okay, down dog to spider. Whew. Come to a plank position. Hands under the shoulders. From here, push back into down dog. Press feet, fingertips, palms to the ground. Get your heels almost touch the ground. Shift forward. Knee to the outside of the elbow. Just one at a time. Whew. Whew. So we're working shoulders and obliques, but also you'll feel it in the front of that core as we shift into that plank. Whew. Oh my. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, nice job. Roar. Me strong. Me so strong. Oh, baby. Finish <laughs> that. Woo. Roar. Okay. All right, guys. This next one's going to be super challenging for some of you. So I'm going to show most advanced version first and not break it down. We're going to do a roll back. So make sure there's room in the back of you. Okay. So roll back. Up. In a plank. One. Two. Come back. Roll back. If this is too much for you, what I want you to do is stick with either the half burpees and then rest for about two seconds, or one, two, and you can keep bringing up your feet like that, okay? Roll back, or you can use your hands, press yourself up if you're not quite there, and then come into that plank. I had to do it. I had to put the roll back in. Roll back, back. One, two. Okay, come on to 
tabletop. Hands under the under, um, the shoulders, knees under the hips, and you got that rainbow. Side, side. This is awesome for those glutes. We're gonna stay on the same leg. And get as wide as you can to this other side and the other side. Glutes on fire. So I feel this in my left glute. Whew. Keep going, guys. Oh my. Take your time. Ten seconds, then we're going to go right to the other side. Adele is waiting for us. <laughs> there it is. Finally made a reference. You know I'm sick because I act normal when I'm sick. <laughs> Alright, let's go up the other side. Okay, la la la, la la la, keep it going. Oh my friends, we only have two moves after this. That's nothing. Even that, really. Let's 
yourself a little bit. If it's uncomfortable for you, if there's no pain that you caused to yourself, you can gently push that knee down. But again, make sure there's no like sharp pain or anything. Now listen to your body. You can do other stretches instead. Um, and go ahead. Bring it back to center. Bring those knees around you. Wrap it around. We're going to pop into a child's pose. So sit your hips back. Bring your hands forward. Press the palms to the ground. Relax that no. Breathe. Walk your hands over to the right. Ooh. Sorry about my gross stones. Bring it back to center. Other side. video, share it with your friends, family, Facebook, Twitter, etc. It really helps me out. And then follow me at Cat Moosey Fitness on my Instagram and my Facebook page. It's a lot more about mental health stuff, which I feel like is super, super important. So that would be great. And remember, if you want to leave a comment below, let me know what move was your favorite today. Uh, let me know if you like this arena. If you want me to go back to the mirror room, I want to know what you guys like. And the link is down in my description. If you do want to support my channel, that would be amazing. Uh, so I can create more awesome content for you guys. See you guys soon. Rawr.